why did we define the inner product in such a strange way? That must have some reason. Well, actually it has two reasons. We will encounter the first in this video. We can use the inner product to compute length and distances, as we will see. Let's look in R2 first. We have a vector u over here with components u1 and u2. Then we know how to compute the length of this vector. The length equal squared equals u1 squared plus u2 squared. But if you compute the inner product from of u with itself, so u equals u1, u2, then u and u equals u1 times u1 plus u2 times u2. So u1 squared plus u2 squared, which is the same. So we see that the inner product of u with itself yields exactly the length of u squared. So you can use the inner product to compute length in R2. Well, not only in R2. Look at this figure in R3, where we have our vector v. We will call this distance r. And here we have the components v1, v2, v3. So this length over here equals v1, so the yellow line over here. This length over here equals v2, on the yellow line, and the height equals v3. So what is the length of this vector v? Well, it's Pythagoras two times. Length over here is squared, length of v squared equals r squared plus v3 squared, like that. And then we can express r in terms of v1 and v2. So over here, also Pythagoras, v1 squared plus v2 squared equals r squared. So we have r squared equals v1 squared plus v2 squared. So the length of v squared equals v1 squared plus v2 squared plus v3 squared equals inner product v in v. So we see that you can use the inner product of a vector with itself in order to compute its length. So let's look at some explicit examples. Here we have the points P and Q. U equals 2, 1 goes from the origin to P, and V equals 1, 2 goes from the origin to Q. And then we know how to compute the length of U. The length of U squared is the inner product of U with itself, so 2 times 2 plus 1 plus 1, 4 plus 1 equals 5, so the length of u is the positive square root, length is positive of course, so the length equals the square root of 5. We can do even more, if we can compute length, we can also compute distances, for example, the distance between p and q, by forming this blue vector over here, from p to q. So the distance from p to q is exactly the length of this blue vector, so let's call that one w. If you know this length, then you know the distance from P to Q. Well, we see U plus W, U plus W, then we get at V. So we can solve for W. W equals V minus U, and V minus U, 1, 2, minus 2, 1, equals minus 1, 1, over there. So now we know W. Then we can compute the distance from P to Q, which is just the length of the vector W, the square root of the inner product of w with itself equals minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1 plus times 1 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. So the length of w is the square root of 2. So the distance from p to q is the square root of 2. Yeah, I know in R2 you can already do this uh, with other methods too. But especially if you go to higher dimensions, uh, R3 or maybe R4 or whatever, then it's really convenient if you use the inner product to compute length and distances.